Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the watch mission. Uh, as uh, I promised earlier, uh, I'd come back and do kind of a full review of uh, the Fair uh, World Timer that I bought. So it's, uh, it, it goes by the name of the uh, Fair Roach. So I've had this for, I guess, two days now, two or three days, and it is uh, definitely going to be uh, my daily wear until something knocks it off the top. Uh, from a functionality perspective, it's great. I mean, it, it does exactly what I need it to do for my day to day work. I've got, you know, I'm a manager of a, a cybersecurity team, I have a team that's global in India, Singapore, Buenos Aires, uh, Dallas, you know, all, all over. So it's nice to be able to have a watch like this that actually has a, a complication that you do use on a very regular basis. So that's, you know, I know it's something I mentioned, I think, in the, uh, in the unboxing of this, but it's, it's pretty important to me to have, like, kind of at a glance, oh, who's available at what time, right? So that's, it's, it's a nice complication to have. Uh, but beyond what it means to me, uh, th this watch has been very impressive, you know, not just to me, but everyone else that uh, takes a look at it is, is really thrilled with it. Uh, so as you did see before, it does come in a... The, uh, it's, it's a soft cover case, which I like a lot. It's not the most luxurious thing, but I, that it's perfect for travel, right? You're, typically, I do take two to three watches when I travel around, but usually it's two. So this is nice to, to wear one and take one with you, and it, it doesn't take up you know, a ton of room as compared to like the, the Zelos one. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a monster case. Now, it's, it's nice. It's probably more expensive, but... Also, a lot of the money that you pay for for the watch goes into those those packaging, so you just got to be aware of that. So I do like what they've done here. No complaints about that whatsoever. So it comes with um, a really nice, you know, warranty card. So kind of you know, credit card type card there, as well as a, a kind of an instruction manual on uh, how to actually set the world time, which you think it'd be easy, but it's not quite as intuitive. You know, not every watch does it exactly the same. So you've, you've got to really, you know, kind of pay attention to how it wants you to set your local time. Is it based on the six o'clock, the 12 o'clock? You know, what's it going to be? There are, you know, most of them go six o'clock, but there are some that are a little, little different. So, um, you know, it's nice to have that quick instruction manual just to kind of get yourself oriented to how it works and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, the other thing with the case here is it actually has, you know, button straps, so you don't have to try to, you know, finagle this thing out of there. Uh, so I do like that. Okay, so as far as the watch itself is concerned, absolutely thrilled with it. I mean, it, it has been a phenomenal watch to have on wrist. Um, it is at, I think, uh, 39. Let me go here. Yep. So it is at 39 millimeters uh, as far as the diameter is concerned. 11 millimeters uh, when it comes to the thickness of that is pretty svelte. That's nice and thin, so it's very low on the wrist. And then 45 millimeters uh, lug to lug. So for someone like me who has a six and a half inch wrist, the thing fits great, right? It's, it's a very, very good fit for me. Uh, so uh, I got the stainless steel uh, version and it has a brushed bezel, uh, polished edges. Uh, the, the outer side of it here is, is highly kind of textured, brushed, uh, which, you know, I, I, I got in some of the pictures kind of up close that I'll kind of attach here, uh, as well as the two different crowns, um, which are great. So kind of their signature is, is putting that you know, kind of copper end piece on the crown and it looks so good and it looks very, very expensive. So that's your, you know, standard three position crown uh, for setting the time. Um, you know, you can do manual winding there as well, uh, even though it's an automatic. And for the world time uh, section, you know, you, you have this upper 10 o'clock crown, a latitude longitude type of uh, finishing on there. Uh, so that is also very nice. Uh, I do like how the lugs, you know, kind of taper and point down. That is very sharp, very expensive looking. And then you have the case back as well. So the case back is highly polished. 
uh, it has that um, you know colored red rotor you know when you when you flip it over there it, it kind of has a bit of an orus look or feel to it which nothing wrong with that at all they do a good job there uh, but it's a nice it's a, it's a flat red, but it's a bright red rotor, and the rest of the finishing on that ETA is done very well. Right? They've, they've done some pretty good finishing there. The strap uh, is it's just a leather strap. Uh, it is stamped uh, fair, and it's pretty good so far. Uh, it is really stiff. Now, that usually means it's going to wear really well later on, but when you first put it on, little stiff, little uncomfortable, but I expect that to uh, change. Doesn't mean that I won't try to find, you know, a few different straps that I think might go a little bit better with it, but it, it works just fine. It, it feels great. Uh, it does have a signed buckle. So of course, when I change out the straps, I'll have to make sure to, uh, you know, keep the buckle on there as well. I like doing that. So, you know, being highly polished, you are going to get smudge marks on there. So that's always going to drive me a little crazy, but being on the wrist, it really shouldn't scratch very much, right? And you can tell it is also a screw-on case back, not a screw-down case back. Uh, but it does have uh, 100 meters of water resistance. Uh, so it, it's got plenty for a world timer, right? You're going to be able to swim with this or, or do whatever you need to do. Just not, it's not a diver's watch per se. So the dial itself is a, a kind of a textured midnight blue. Uh, you'll be able to see that a little bit better in the pictures than you will the video, but even some of the pictures. So a little rant on myself here. So I took some time. I went to um, the library, which I live right beside, uh, and, and got some really good pictures, good setup, found some old books. Uh, you know, you can see here some of the pictures I've got. Uh, but when I got back, I realized, and I, I should know better, I'm, a, I'm kind of a photographer by trade, uh, I did not set the maximum ISO and that dry, noise in a photo drives me insane. So probably on YouTube here, you're not going to see it very much on the Instagram photos. You're not going to see it. But when I loaded them for the sake of putting them on my website, I was not happy with them at all. So today I'm going to go back, redo all those photos. And I would never do that with a standard watch. I just wouldn't. One that has a plain dial, one that just isn't very exciting. I'd be kind of, okay, that's, I can clean up the noise. It'll be fine. Not with this one. Uh, I'm going to make sure to take my time, go back and get a lot of uh, very good shots uh, and, and take a little bit more time than I did before checking everything. Uh, that was very frustrating for me uh, to, to go and not get the shots that I wanted to. So, and the reason for that I would do it on a regular watch or just let that pass by on a regular watch, when I say regular, I guess not as detailed is what I mean, uh, is because this thing, the more you look at it and the closer you get, the better it gets. It, it is, to, to me, I, I told someone, I think on one of the forums, that it's kind of a combination between a Vertex watch and a uh, Bremont. So I, I see a lot of Bremont, you know, in the case itself. And then I see a lot of the Vertex in the, the dial and the applied indices there as well. So a lot of you who own Vertex and, and Bremont might say not even close, but, well, you know, I disagree. I think it's, I think it is. I think it's very high quality. You know, the fact that these guys sell only from their website, they don't have dealers. They're, they're saving a ton of money there. So you are getting a lot of watch for the money, especially in their, their design and finishing. So very, very impressed with what they've got there so far. And you can see on, you know, a lot of these pictures that it, from every angle, this thing looks great. I absolutely love it. And then Farrah, when you go to the actual website itself, they, they do a really good job here of, you know, each one of these watches, they'll show you kind of the day night look. And they also have, you know, you can choose, you know, the different straps here as well. So there's a lot of different options, which I, I probably should have paid more attention to. I didn't necessarily pay attention uh, to, to all of these options, knowing that I have just a ton of different straps. And I always like to, that's kind of the second part of the honeymoon phase of, of watches is for me at least going out and finding a few different straps. So that's okay that I didn't pay attention to that. But I did take a look at this. You can choose the different serial number that you want uh, for this watch. Now, you can only choose what's left, of course, but that's also kind of cool. There were a couple different numbers that I thought, oh, cool, I'm going to go get this. And it just, it wasn't available, uh, but that's okay. 
Um, so I just went ahead with whatever they gave me, but you might be able to go in there and find a number that means something to you. And that's kind of a cool thing. I, I, I like that they do that. That's, that's pretty sharp. Now, when it comes to some of the other stuff that they have on their site, man, I, they've got a few that are definitely going to be on my list. Uh, there's no question about it. They are obviously very much into kind of a non-standard look. Uh, you know, they, they put a lot of different color. They, uh, and at first, I think when you see something like these, you, you might not think that it's as high quality as normal because you will see a lot of watches in the cheaper range that, that put different colors on there. But the closer you get to these and the, the more that you pay attention, the more you realize the quality and thought they put into those colors. So I do think it is going to be one of those kind of collector's watches that if you know, you know, and it's, it's great that they put the colors to it. And the next one on my list uh, from, from FAIR is going to be uh, their compressor watch. And they, they partner with this organization, the Whale Dolphin Trust, and they've raised a ton of money, uh, which I, I really do appreciate when companies go above and beyond and give back, whether it's to the watch community or whether it's to something that you know, makes a difference in um, the discipline that they're kind of selling in, which in, in this case is going to be a diver series. So I do like and appreciate that. Uh, these uh, these uh, Levin Ocean series, this is next on my list for sure. Uh, the kind of retro 70s style cushion casing is, is great looking. I, I really like that a lot. I'm a big you know, compressor style fan. Uh, I, I like the way they do that versus having you know, the bezel on the, on the outside there where it's going to get bumped. Um, the, the ones I like, even though Fair is kind of known for their colors, I, I do like this one, right? The, the blue is great with the titanium, but I, for me, this one kind of works all day long, right? This, this is a great looking piece. Um, so I think that is probably going to be next on my list. It also has, um, you know, the, the Fair signature killer loom. Uh, so that's nice to see. But uh, boy, when you get up close in the details there, this, this is a nice looking piece uh, for just at $1,000, right around 1000 bucks. This is uh, definitely going to be one of the ones that I'll, I'll go for next. I think they've, they've done a really good job there. Um, so we'll, we'll see when I, uh, when I scrounge up enough change to be able to get something like that. But anyway, thank you very much for joining and watching. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff coming. Uh, very soon. Uh, lots of different manufacturers uh, and micro brands have contacted me, so I, I look to do a lot more videos on a, a much higher frequency, and I look to do a lot more giveaways. Uh, and speaking of giveaways, please don't forget, you know, this one's still up for grabs, right? This is Forzo. Uh, all you have to do is go watch the video, uh, take a look at that video, see uh, how you can join my Discord to be able to win that. Uh, but kind of like how Watch Chris is doing it, I am not going to post giveaway anymore on YouTube because you just get killed with spam. And that's the reason I have to do it uh, this way. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of do stuff under the radar. So if you watch the videos going forward, you'll be able to know when I'm giving something away. Uh, and then if you are interested, you can join the Discord and uh, you'll, you'll be entered that way and there won't be any spam. There'll be true watch enthusiasts that'll win this, not just random people looking for any giveaway on, on YouTube. So gives you gives you guys a better chance at winning. Uh, keeps me from having to you know, sh uh, sift through all the spam. But hey guys, thank you very much. Uh, hope you like the fair. I hope you go take a look at their website and uh, like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm getting a lot of feedback lately. Uh, and I, I really do appreciate all your comments. I read every single one of them. I try to reply back. Uh, and also don't forget to join me over on uh, Watch Crunch as well, right? That's one of my favorite platforms. I'm on it every single day along with my Discord. Uh, so it, it's a great place to be. There's just tons of folks on there. Max, who runs it, does a great job. Uh, you can meet a ton of different people. Uh, in your in your area or around the world, whatever you want to do, and it's it's a very positive forum, right? No one's bashing anything. Um, you know, there's everything, obviously, from you know Grand Seiko to guys just having fun. Uh, you know, news, vintage watches, Seikos, whatever you want, it's on there. So uh, it's it's specific to the watch community. I love it. I'm sure you will too. Uh, so I hope to see you there. Thank you.